Officer fired. A longtime member of the Providence Police Force is forced off the job over stunning allegations when he was supposed to be serving and protecting the public. The now former officer admits he was actually having sex on the job. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live now at the Pub Public Safety Complex headquarters with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Officer Kazanjian will not be formally or criminally charged for what happened last May, last May, but officials called his actions outrageous and despicable. Terminated. It took eight months, but Officer Koch Kazanjian is fired after admitting to having sex on the job. His behavior was so both outrageous and despicable that we move for termination. Thursday, Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry, the city's attorney, and Chief Hugh Clements announced Kazanjian's career is over. This egregious, uh, outrageous behavior uh, certainly wasn't taken well by many at the time that it, that it happened, and neither is it now. Police say it happened in the capital city last May. A 19-year-old woman came to the hospital saying she was sexually assaulted. Although no rape charges will be filed, police say Kazanjian did have sex with her. Unfortunately, it was a real poor decision that ended an officer's career. According to documents from the hearing committee, the officer was called to a scene where the 19-year-old was fighting with her boyfriend. Police say he drove the woman back to her home where drug paraphernalia was on display. Kazanjian told officers the woman wanted to have sex. He claims she offered sexual favors to him, uh, to which he responded in his own words, uh, okay, that's your thrill, no problem. The committee voted to terminate him. Now, we've tried to get in contact with Kazanjian. So far, we've gotten no response from him. And uh, for the last eight months, he has been on paid suspension. Now, coming up at 6, we'll tell you about the city's efforts to try to stop him from receiving a pension. Reporting live at the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.